I think we all survived the storms last night. I I slept so hard. I don't even know if the storm came through my neighborhood or anything. Did did anything happen? There was even a uh, report like about an hour ago of a downed tree on Highway 62 in Benton County. So there was definitely... Yeah, so there's one downed tree. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Thankfully, I don't think there was any major damage. That's so good. that's good. But yeah. there were, and there was a little pop up tornado, not in northwest Arkansas, but just south of us. Yeah. Uh, in the middle of the night, last night, or rotation, well, anyways. I heard there was a, a tornado somewhere in Oklahoma. Like yes. This. Yeah. There were multiple tornado warnings into that. So, yeah. We were, we were on full alert at our house because of the precious peonies mm-hmm. and the other plants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, by lunchtime yesterday, my wife was scheming, devising, drawing up plans that involved somehow like laundry baskets with large rocks on top of them to oh, protect Oh my goodness. Some of the plants. She I mean, these are precious. They're her babies. Her plants. Yes. Her plants have it made. That mama instinct was kicking in in high gear yesterday. Wow. I was like we're going to keep these plants safe. That's good. I was like, she's going to keep these plants safe. <laughs> You're like, have fun <laughs> the with that. The majority of the work. <laughs> the KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Ready for some good news? We are too. Here's your positive difference story of the day. So there's a gentleman named David Heisch. And uh, he had a little girl um, when she, well, he has a little girl. She was only four months old, though, uh, when he realized that she is not going to have her vision. Okay, due to this rare issue going on, she's basically going to be blind for the rest of her life. And he was devastated, obviously, just in fear of what she would face uh, in her future. But it didn't take long for him to realize, you know what, she's actually learning to cope with this and do things on her own. And, you know, being four months old and and blind from then on, she's really come a long way and independent in a lot of ways. But at the end of the day, she still uh, struggles in several other areas. Well, his church was doing an Easter egg hunt. Now she's about 10 years old and he was struggling with how can I find a way where she can also hunt for Easter eggs. All these other kids are going to be running around and she wants to play and be a part of. And so what he did was he started doing some research and he came across a guy online who was creating Easter eggs that made sounds. Well, David is an ATF agent himself. Okay, he works with explosives. Okay, we're not talking about explosive eggs, by the way. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Yeah, that wouldn't be so safe. Yeah, but he said that these eggs had beepers and switches and batteries, so that was right up his alley. He knew how to handle it. So he got in his garage, and he started just working on eggs. He's making his own. And creating his own beeping eggs. So he debuts them at this church Easter egg hunt for his daughter. And she has the best time. Mm -hmm. It was so incredible for her. That's awesome. And the next thing you know, he goes to this bomb association meeting because he's an ATF guy. And he presents pictures. He's doing a little talk about these eggs. Well, they're blown away by it. They think it's, no pun intended, by the way. They think it's amazing. (laughs) And they say, hey, let's all band together. Let's get the ATF agents, local law enforcement, and bomb technicians, and let's start a project called the Rachel Project. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. And what they started doing is raising money, and they, they'll donate. They've raised $10,000 every year. This is what they do. And they donate money to bomb squads, military, and law enforcement members around the country, and they use that money to build these eggs And then they send the eggs to different groups, like the National Association for the Visually Impaired. They were donating to schools for the blind and donated to other schools that have visually impaired children. And I say schools because they started realizing that teachers started using the eggs to teach location skills. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like they'll put them in like a drawer or on a shelf. And it's a great learning aid to help teach kids how to locate things themselves. Um, which is just an, another move towards independence for these kiddos. And I just thought, wow, that is incredible. Like, first of all, that he developed this cool egg. 
takes it to these guys and they say, hey, let's do something with this to yeah. really make a positive difference across the country, which is what they're doing. And now they're being used in schools. Now you have blind kids able to go Easter egg hunting. I love how God used a dad who just wanted to help his daughter. Yeah. And now it's impacting so many more people. I know. I just thought that is so incredible. So that's hats off. awesome. Yeah. That was pretty incredible. That is our positive difference story of the day. KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. I've got a little dilemma on my hands. Okay. So this is a big month. Coming up in two weeks, Tiff and I celebrate 25 years of being married. So 25th wedding anniversary. Wow. Which is That's awesome. impressive. That's not the dilemma. That's Man, a good thing. Man, her patience level must be just off the <laughs> right. charts. Exactly. <laughs> she kidding, is worth, She deserves <laughs> all the things, right? So for our 20th anniversary, mm-hmm. like it was easy. We had been planning for it. Literally for 20 years, because we started saving money our first year. Just put a couple of bucks aside every month. No kidding. Yeah. To be able to go to Italy. That was something she really wanted to do, go see where I grew up. And so literally it started with $10 a month. Then we like bumped it up to 20 a month after a little while. And we just let it build. You are kidding me. You did that for 20 years. For 20 years. And then our 20th anniversary, we went. And hung out in Italy, which was awesome. That is, that's incredible to me. It was fun. Talk about like, perseverance and persistence <laughs> and just I mean, all the things. The thing you start, I mean, you start realizing like 10 bucks a month, you don't feel it mm-hmm. more often than not, unless you're not really tight yeah. spot, but it adds up over time. Yeah. 20 years. Yeah. So that was like easy. We knew what we were doing. Mm-hmm. We'd been planning for it. We'd been talking about it. Other than actually doing it. Mm -hmm. And now we're on our 25th. And we actually, after that, then started putting a little bit of money aside. Because they're like, all right, 25 is the next big one. We like to travel. So we're like, let's at least give ourselves a chance to be able to maybe go explore someplace or do something. Yeah. We can't figure out where to go. (laughs) Like, literally. You were so fixated on Italy (laughs) for 20 years. Yeah, that one was so, like, locked in. And, like, the budget's (laughs) not crazy. Like, we can't probably do, like, you know. A massive European trip, or, right? But we you've been, could you've been saving get somewhere, again, right? right. And yeah. we could do something for a few days, but it and literally, we're like, I don't know why. Like, there's plenty of things there, like that. I think that'd be fun. That would be good. We just can't seem to lock in. Okay, what to do or where to go? So, what, so what's my, your question? My here? Question is like, well, and maybe the KLRC fam. Okay. Can help out with oh, this. Oh, okay. So you're putting that out there. You're- I'm like, I'm open to suggestions. Okay. Because we need something that, like, anybody who's done something cool on an anniversary, you're like, okay, mm-hmm. we try that. We talked to some friends. How many days are we talking here that, that you're able to um, get away for your 25th? Let's say at least three. Okay. Maybe up to a week, depending okay. on. How it all works out. Time. Okay. Which means I'm in the studio running the board by myself. Is that <laughs> so what you're saying? Sabotaging so I'm pulling idiots. for three days. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. I'll, That's I'll, fair. I'll make it work. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're like enough to be able to get away. Yeah. Uh, but we literally like, we're having a hard time deciding. We're like, like we need somebody who can tell us this was awesome. You should totally do this. Okay. We did have somebody tell us that Costa Rica is amazing. So we're starting to research that okay. a little bit. But we're like, I don't know. So don't know. on this vacay, uh-huh. this anniversary trip, are we and looking at like a mixture between um, maybe hiking, or sightseeing, or is this more like we want to go somewhere and sit and do nothing for yeah. like five days? Uh, is this a mixture? Or? I think sit, I might be able to handle sit and do nothing for five days. <laughs> Tiff would not be able to yeah. handle some She's dude. She, it, There's going to have to be some doing something. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're open. We love trying new things and exploring new places. Okay. And this is kind of one of those, like, I mean, literally once in a lifetime, 25th anniversary. Sure. We don't get to do this very often, but we've saved a little bit of money aside to try something new. Okay. So I just can't figure out what to do. Well, I, I would bet a lot of money, but I'm not a better, but... <laughs> I would today. I would bet a lot of money that our listening family, somebody... Who's got a really good idea. Has a good idea. I would love to hear all the ideas. 
<clears throat> okay. If you want to chime in, yeah. you can call or text us this morning. 1-800-909-KLRC. That's what I thought. I was like, somebody probably is at a anniversary trip or some other reason yeah, to get away that was like, oh, mm-hmm. this was incredible. That isn't like, you know, $10,000 right. or something like that. All right. So 1-800-909-KLRC. You can call or text 800-909-5572. I'm excited. Otherwise, we're probably, I don't know, Crystal Bridges or <laughs> maybe a hog game. It's a good place. You know, there's lots of good options around yeah, you here. Could, you could come house sit for me while <laughs> okay. I go on While you go somewhere nice. <laughs> The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. I think I'm going from bewildered and despair to lots of hope this morning. All kinds of ideas coming in from the our ideas listening family. Are flowing in. So later on this month, my wife and I will celebrate our 25th wedding anniversary. When we did a big trip that we saved for literally for 20 years to go on our 20th anniversary. And we're like, okay, let's start saving for the next one. Like 25 will be the next big milestone. So we've been saving some pennies. And Mm -hmm. the first one was easy. We both knew we wanted to go to Italy. It was like we planned for it for a couple of decades. But this one, literally, we sat for two hours at a coffee shop. We're like, I don't know. Like, we can't just figure it out. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of good options within reason. And we don't have an unlimited budget, but... We just struggled and like, we're like, we got to start asking people like, yeah. where, where to go. What? So many great ideas this morning. So if you have thoughts, uh, you can call or text us 1-800-909-KLRC. We're all ears on good suggestions. Okay. So a few texts have come in for sure. Uh, Alaskan cruise. That, that I have amazing heard is to amazing. Me. Yeah. The views. You could get off and go ride with the uh, sled dogs. <laughs> Which would be pretty awesome. That's what I'm thinking. That's in my mind. Can but you do I'm it not when it's not really trip. cold? Um, yeah. Okay. My mom did that. Yeah. She, she went on the little sled dog thing. Okay. So I think that would be super fun. It's a Alaskan cruise. We've heard from a, someone saying, hey, go to a dude ranch and visit the Grand Canyon. It's a good one. Okay. Well, we, we love to hike. A dude okay. ranch doesn't sound very anniversary to me, but maybe, no. maybe I'm discounting it. Like maybe the, there's something to it. Cozumel, Bahamas. Okay. Someone said we swam with the pigs and I it was so fun. Swim with swam pigs. With the pigs? I didn't even know pigs can swim. Is that Did a you? Thing? No. That also does not sound very anniversary. Okay. Like I mean, to me, but I could be see, I'm probably not open minded enough. We should probably actually be a little more adventuresome. I mean so many different uh, Greece, the Mediterranean is beautiful. Also, a road trip of the California coast on Highway 5 on your imaginary motorcycle would be a great time of <laughs> I year. Think that That's what they for said. You. <laughs> I, lots of good ideas. All right. Appreciate it. Good morning. How are you? Good. good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. I have an idea for you. I didn't okay. go for an anniversary, but I went with some friends in Puerto Rico. Um, but you can visit the rainforest. You can go to a fluorescent bay where the fish glow you can ride horses on the beach you can oh, go snorkeling what? and wow. it's fairly yeah it's all fairly inexpensive it's one of the few places that actually has a rainforest el yunque okay um, rincon r-i-n-k-o-n it's a beautiful place to snorkel but you can kind of get the best of everything and it's pretty inexpensive that's awesome that and sounds incredible it's a u.s territory yeah. too so you probably don't even have to do all the like Correct. international you know passport stuff Okay. Yep, it's a very simple trip, and it's a lot of fun. So, did you say glowing maybe that fish? Will help. Yes, it's their phosphorescent bays. They have a few of them. You can actually you can actually swim in the water with a fish and um, take kayaks out on those bays and things like that. Wow! Okay. So you can so when you're swimming in the water, you can see the fish glowing. Yes, it's because of a chemical that's in the water that reacts. Yeah. Th- does it make you fish. glow too? So, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool though. All that right. would be next level. That'd be amazing. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Hi, I have an idea for your anniversary trip. Yeah, what do you got? If you don't go anywhere else, go to Iceland. Mm. Iceland. Okay, wow. I've seen some pictures. It looks amazing. Yes. Now, if you go during the summer, you'll be able to do plenty of hiking. 
They have waterfalls, beaches, um, anything you want to do, and it is beautiful. Wow, that's definitely a thought, Mark. Yes. What was your most favorite moment highlight for you? Um, I went to Akarayri and went to um, a lagoon there that was very neat. It was called the Forest Lagoon. Okay. That sounds amazing. But they also have a great big church called Hallgren's Kirkta in Reykjavik. And the service on Sunday morning there is just beyond belief. Wow. All right. You're tempting me big time. That sounds really interesting. Was was there a blue lagoon there? Yes. <laughs> there was. It was closed because of the volcano. Oh, man. Seems like a good reason. Yeah. yeah. To have it closed. <laughs> hey, thank well, you. Yeah, That's amazing. Anyway, yeah, thanks for that suggestion. You're welcome. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. I'm going to walk out of here today with quite the list. I know. These suggestions, man. Yeah, and you take, okay. you take them home to, to TIFF for I your know. anniversary. You'll be like, okay. So our 25th wedding anniversary is later this month. Mm-hmm. And for our 20th anniversary, we did the big trip to Italy. Saved for like 20 years for that. And then we're like, okay, the next big one's 25. Let's start saving some money so we can... Take a trip somewhere because we like exploring new places, and uh, and here we are. It's here, and literally we can't figure out where to go. I mean, obviously there's lots of options. We're just like, man, we need like somebody who could say that's the thing, like mm-hmm. do that. And man, this morning we've been getting all these ideas. Um, Puerto Rico swimming with like these glowing fish, which is I didn't know that was a th- amazing. Thing. Yeah. And, Swimming with the pigs, and it was in the Bahamas. I don't know. <laughs> that one, I'm not I so, didn't even know pigs could swim. I'm not so sure about that. Um, but now, Iceland has me intrigued. Mm. That I'm like, okay, I, that's intriguing to me. Alaskan cruise, we've heard about that. The cruises have been popping up. Here's the problem. when I think it was when she was in high school, she went on a cruise and got really sick. Oh, okay. And that's been a, like, since the day I met her. She's like, hey, it's a no. like, I'm, I'm no on the, the mm-hmm. cruise. And I think a Mark Solo 25th anniversary cruise probably doesn't sound <laughs> as appealing or well, we've, we've heard good some idea. good uh, local suggestions, too. Yes. Um, uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, uh-huh. Smoky Mountains. We'll heard that that's out. beautiful. That, yes. Colorado. Mm-hmm. Always a, a great place to go. The, the big old yeah. gigantic Rocky Mountains. One guy suggested going to the Buffalo River. It's gorgeous. And Quick he's like, drive. save some money and then make an extra car payment. Super romantic. <laughs> I bet he's the saver in, in the marriage. I'm just guessing. I would guess so. I don't know if anybody else has said this, but I went to Australia with a friend of mine for mission work. Mm. And it was amazing. <laughs> and it's actually a really good place to go because... Yeah, because there's not as much culture shock either. So it's really just a great experience. Yeah. Wow. What would you suggest, like sightseeing wise, what would you suggest in Australia? Well, we stayed at um, Coffs Harbor for a while, which was kind of nice because it's this little small um, harbor <laughs> area. But we ended up going to Sydney and that um, that was amazing. They have the Sydney Opera House. We got to go to Bondi Beach, which has its own TV show. Okay. So we got to experience just the beach area. But there's uh, somebody, I think I said horseback riding, but we got to go horseback riding while we were there. Um, there's tons of shops you can go to. It's just like, I mean, you can just look up a ton of itinerary just to go and look at and see and experience. And it's just so fun. Wow. wow. Did that you run amazing. into, there's a guy I know over there. His, his name's Mr. Dundee. <laughs> Did you run into him at all? <laughs> I did not, but we did look up 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, to find out it is not real. <laughs> no. nice. Did you see any crocodiles? <laughs> we did it. Oh. We, and, and, you know, I'm surprised with us um, going horseback riding because we did, we did it two different ways. We did a rainforest ride, and then we also did a beach ride, and um, I'm not a great horseback rider. I was expecting to see a lot of things, and I did not. Okay. But there were a lot of parrots. Like, when we went to church on Sunday morning, there were parrots in the tree, which was kind of nice. Parrots? All right. That's not your average little wow. trip. Yeah. Trip. Right.
right. And there was also kangaroos everywhere. Like, Aww, in, like that's having so deer awesome. here in my front yard, there's kangaroos in the front yard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Were they boxing or anything? Like, was it a boxing match going on? No. <laughs> ah. No. Did you eat like a steak at the Outback or anything? I did not. I'm too, <laughs> I was too scared to eat it. They had, they did have kangaroo, but I was too scared to eat it. Yeah, me too. I would have passed. I would not eat a no, kangaroo. Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. When I have lunch, you see lunch, uh, tiff at lunch today. I think I'm going to have options. You are, Mark. You're going to have tons of options. So our 25th wedding anniversary is coming up. We've been saving for a few years so we could do something fun. So we got a little money set aside and we're like, okay, we got to do something on our 25th. And we just could not, have not been able to like land on a place. Mm-hmm. But man, the suggestions this morning... I'm definitely intrigued by Iceland. That Mm. sounds really, I mean, because we like hiking. We like exploring new places. Yeah, I've heard it's beautiful there. Yeah. That lady said there was like a church, a cathedral experience thing that was pretty amazing too. Blue Lagoon. (laughs) The Blue Lagoon is in Iceland. Yes. We now know (laughs) that. Thank you. Uh, I don't know that we can get to Australia, but the person who called about that, that, I mean, it's Australia. That sounds crazy. Um, We've heard um, Maui. Yes. Costa Rica. Costa Rica definitely was one a few people have told us about. That sounds really interesting to me. Alaskan cruise. Mm-hmm. If it weren't for that, she got sick the one time she oh, went yeah. on a cruise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tiff can't do that. The uh, Oregon Beach is another one that somebody texted about. Okay. Like, okay. We did that as a family vacation a few years ago. That was beautiful. Well, out of everything you've heard today, mm-hmm. which are a lot, by the way, thank you so much for chiming in. So many great suggestions. Like, after after this show, I'm literally leaving to go on vacation now. Know, right? Like I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm out. I'm just kidding. I'm yeah. going to stick around. But I will say we've had such a wide range mm-hmm. of ideas, and yeah. so right now you're going to go to lunch here in a few hours uh-huh. with Tiff. What so what's going to be your your top three Man. suggestions based on what you've heard today? Okay. And the rainforest thing is definitely mm. high on the list. So okay, Puerto Rico, Costa Rica, those are places that have rainforest. I'm like. How do you top a rainforest? Well, and our listener who called in, who she said Puerto Rico, you could swim with glowing fish. Yeah, there was that whole like phosphorus something. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that I'm definitely interested in. Uh, Iceland definitely is on the list after today. I don't know that we can pull it off, but a few people suggest to Hawaii. Mm. And I know that's kind of like the classic. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. That might be tough to to pass up either. Because you, because they've got like jungle and beach, mm-hmm. volcanoes. But then somebody said, "Hey, the natural state, don't cut yeah, it Buffalo short." Buffalo River, yeah, to save money you and, could and save some money, pay and an extra car payment. <laughs> uh, or just have a little extra money to, you know, eat somewhere yeah. nice once in a while or something like Doesn't that. Doesn't feel too romantic there, but doing the extra car payment, like if. if <laughs> I think if my spouse said, hey, let's do an extra car payment on our 25th anniversary. So let's, I don't know, no offense, but we appreciate the suggestion. Yeah. Um, uh, What's so weird, though, is all of these suggestions and these amazing vacations, Uh not one person has said, yes, I can go with them. Like they've shared, you know, different vacations they're about to take. Uh Uh-huh. They have taken, and, and I keep offered, trying to go. Like, hey, no one is letting me go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I go with you and Tim? No. Oh. <laughs> the KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. Ninety point nine KLRC.